Okay, PK Jain saying the threat at that time came from gangsters. You needed protection from 9mm pistols, revolvers. There was no conceivable thought at that time that Mumbai would be attacked by people like Kasab holding AK-47 rifles. Ashish Kaitan, is Mr. Jain telling us the truth? Is that really what it is that at that time they didn't think that there might be a requirement for protection against AK-47 rifles, Ashish? Well, Rahul, in 1993, Mumbai suffered from serial blasts. There were 13 serial blasts across Mumbai. And not just that, uh, the Mumbai police had also recovered a, uh, a very big consignment of AK-47 and AK-56 rifles because those rifles were smuggled in Mumbai by the Daud Ibrahim gang there? and were supposed to be used uh, you know, uh, uh, in, in, after, in the aftermath of the blast. And uh, in 1995, 96, on several occasions, the gangsters uh, associated with Daud Ibrahim, they used AK-47 in Supadi killings in Mumbai. There was a case of Ram Dais Naik, uh, the BJP MLA who was murdered by an AK-47 rifle and so many other cases where AK-47 was used. So if in 1993, in, in uh, the Mumbai saw an attack from AK-47, in 1995, Mumbai saw an attack from AK-47, how in 2001 and 2002, I know the people concerned didn't see a threat coming from AK-47 and SL SLR rifles? I mean, this is simply confounding. Okay, you're saying this is simply confounding? And it also seems that uh, the, the, the specifications given in the jackets haven't been compiled, complied with because this clearly says on several parameters against AK-47s, against uh, 7.62 self-loading rifles, against 9mm carbine, uh, they've been found to be of highly limited nature. And the report which Simanchu Roy, S.E. Shinde and Surinder Kumar have all signed on say that it is not adequate. Mr. Pawar, I want your sense on this. Now we're seeing this explanation come out. First they said the file has gone missing. They lied through their teeth. Now they're saying we didn't think that Kasab will attack us. We didn't think that terrorists will attack us with AK-47s. So we bought, uh, we bought the bulletproof jackets keeping pistols and revolvers in mind, Mr. Pawar. It is a blatant lie and they can't say this. They can't take um, uh, shelter of uh, uh, telling lies like this because uh, as rightly pointed out that Right from 93, we had seen the uh, AK 47s being used, and uh, not only by uh, Pakistani or militants or uh, even Naxalites, uh, they are having uh, AK 47. But gangsters are using AK 47 uh, left and right, and they can't see this, and they, they say that whom they are trying to fool now. Now, having committed certain things, at least they should have some shame left to not to talk like this, at least keep quiet if can't do anything. They not only deserve a legal action, there are four ways a legal action can be taken. The High Court can take summit action that the public interest litigation can be filed. The government can lodge a complaint or the victims' wives, they can lodge the complaint. Now, okay. this is one part of it. This is one part of it. As rightly Dr. Bedi pointed out, not only uh, legal action, uh, this is and charge will be not only one charge that is not murder because the Kasab's case this has to be coupled with Kasab's case. Kasab has committed murder and these people have abetted that murder. So they deserve uh, to be uh, prosecuted for that. Then further action that against Anti-Corruption Act, Prevention of Corruption Act. Then third action that while doing the administrative action, the, uh, the court, high court should move itself uh, or the trial court how the files were missed and where were the files and why they were misplaced. Now, the, there is again a deliberate intention uh, hiding the facts before the court and concealing them and then uh, trying to mislead the court also. Those so are very, are very of, strong uh, words. Uh, Those are very, very strong words coming from such a senior officer. He says, these guilty officers should be tried for abetment of murder. They should be tried under the Prevention of Corruption Act. Uh, the wives of these three martyrs can take this case up. Ashish Kaitan, one final question to you before I move on. Last week you broke the story of how a vendor, how an arms dealer came on record saying I had bribed senior officers to get arms contracts. Dr. Kiran Bedi said the Maharashtra government should take sumo to action, suspend these officers, act against them, prosecute them criminally. What has been the response to our last expose? Has the Maharashtra government moved on it? Has it taken cognizance of it? Where really do things stand? Can people expect that things will change or is Ashok Chavan's government skin so thick?
that absolutely nothing will emerge despite this blatant, blatant act of cover-up. Well, unfortunately, uh, as things stand today, even a week down the line, since we exposed the corruption in, in, the, in the procurement process, and that confessions which we ran of the arms dealer who named uh, individual officers and, and uh, very clearly uh, made a confession on camera that how he went around bribing people and that's how he won contracts. A week down the line, nothing has moved. R.R. Patil, the Home Minister, has been taking the alibi that the part of the matter is subjudice, so he would not like to comment. Similarly, the DGP and the Mumbai Police Commissioner, they have refused to comment. And as of now, we have not heard from the government because we were expecting that after, you know, such a sensational and clinching expose where the winner of the bid himself is claiming that he went around bribing senior police officers and okay. that's how he used to win the, win the bids. Uh, nobody has, has, has uh, come back to us and asked for the tapes. So okay. we don't know where, th where this expose will, will head now. Uh, well, well, we hope that since there is a public interest litigation in High Court, the High Court itself will seem to take cognizance of this particular expose. I just want to tell our viewers that I personally have received multiple calls from senior officers in the Maharashtra administration saying, great expose, great story, it's an eye-opening thing, how can these things happen, we need your tapes, we need to do something about it. But it's been a week to this date since the time we broke that story. The tapes haven't been officially called for. The Chief Minister downwards, everybody's seen the story, taken cognizance of it, discussed it in meetings, found out how these things are getting leaked, but done absolutely nothing when it curbs to cutting corruption. That is what we expect. We don't expect kudos for having broken the story. We expect action. All of India expects action. Mr. Ashok Chavan, Mr. R.R. Patil, if you're watching this broadcast tonight, please be certain India is watching, India is noticing. We expect action. This is something we cannot afford to pepper over. For the moment, Mr. Pawar and Ashish Kaitan for yet another absolutely brilliant journalistic endeavor. Thank you very much.